Southern Ohio, we have three different types of carnivorous plants. We have our bladderworts, pitcher plants, and sundews. Carnivorous plants, like their name, they utilize prey to supplement their nutrient intake. They can still do a lot of photosynthesizing, but they can trap insects and small animals that they use digestive enzymes to actually break down and pull into the plant and actually get an extra meal out of it. And a lot of these carnivorous plants grow in low nutrient habitats, and that's how they evolve to supplement their diet by using prey. For our sundews and pitcher plants, they both excrete kind of the sweet material that attracts flies, beetles, mosquitoes, and stuff like that. And they come to the plant, and pitcher plants, they uh, start to walk around the rim and fall into the pitcher plant with the water and eventually drown. And sundews, they actually have like a, a little sticky substance that the insects stick to that they eventually exhaust themselves or drown in the sticky substance and then start to de decompose and the plant actually sucks in the juices from that. Bogs are low nutrient habitats, not a lot of free nutrients in the water or in the soil, which the soil is just a heat, which is dead plant material that's built up over the centuries. Pitcher plants and sundews evolved to be in these habitats and do their activity to supplement their intake. One that's most prevalent in the state are probably our bladderworts. We have a handful of different species that grow in different types of habitat, wetland habitats. And then with pitcher plants, we just have the one species. And then with sundews, we have two different species of sundew.